In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Verify account to your QuickBooks account. So first, click on the Settings submenu and choose Connected Apps. And then click the Connect button on your QuickBooks Online app. Next, just click Connect to QuickBooks. And you'll be presented with the QuickBooks login. The credentials that you enter on this form are sent directly to QuickBooks and they're never stored at Verify. So rest assured that your uh, login details are safe and secure. So just go ahead and enter your email and password and click sign in. And you'll see this connection wizard. So on this first page, click connect. The next page gives me a list of default settings to use in cases where we have missing data in our Verify documents. So the first option is basically uh, whether by default our documents should go through as expenses or as bills. The next option is the default bank or credit account. Followed by the default expense type. Now in Verify this is called your categories. These are imported for you automatically from QuickBooks to Verify. So as long as you have a category set on your Verify expenses, then the appropriate expense type will be used. But in the case where you don't have a category set on your uh, document, this field will dictate which expense type to use. Next we have the reference field format. And here we just have a few options of what format to use when exporting expenses to QuickBooks and you'll see that appear in the reference number against the expense or bill in QuickBooks. The next field lets you decide how to treat the notes field in Verify. You have the choice of putting it into the memo or the line item description on your expenses or bills. And finally, we have the option to either automatically upload all your documents as soon as you collect them in Verify or otherwise you would manually push them when you're ready. So once we're done with this screen, simply hit next. Go ahead and close this window. And then on this screen, click close. You'll see that QuickBooks Online is now connected as indicated by this QB icon in the top here. At this point, there's one more thing you should do to complete your setup and that is to map your purchase accounts in QuickBooks to your payment types in Verify. So to do that, open your dimensions menu, click on payment types. And once your payment types have loaded, you'll notice that they don't have the purchase account configured. So to do that, simply click on the select account link and then just choose the appropriate one from the drop down list. Uh, by doing this, you'll ensure that every time that a expense or a bill is sent to QuickBooks, it will be mapped to the appropriate purchase account uh, based on the payment type on the document in Verify. As I mentioned earlier, when you connect QuickBooks with Verify, uh, all the categories that are in your QuickBooks account are automatically brought into your Verify account for you. So this means that as you're collecting your expenses, your bills, your invoices, uh, the category that is assigned to your document in Verify will map to the appropriate expense type in your chart of accounts in QuickBooks. If you happen to make any changes to your chart of accounts or any other changes that need to be synced back to Verify from QuickBooks, you will need to trigger that sync yourself. So to do that, just click on your QB icon up the top here. And this will bring up your connected apps. Then uh, click on the edit button on the QuickBooks Online connection. And you will see a screen with your default QuickBooks settings. So if you need to uh, change anything, uh, go ahead and do so. Uh, otherwise, just hit save and by doing so, it will automatically trigger the syncing process. And that way, any changes in QuickBooks will be propagated back to Verify.
Now, if at any point you want to disconnect QuickBooks Online from Verify, simply click this disconnect button and then confirm with this yes disconnected button. Then finally click OK and QuickBooks will no longer be connected. As always, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, feel free to drop us a line at support at verify.com.